I wanted to make a really quick tutorial when it comes to circles and cylinders. I see a lot of people making 3D printed stuffs, and it always has like really few amounts of sides, which leaves it sort of edgy when you're printing this. And either they're using the standard sides of the circle in SketchUp because they don't know how to change it, or they don't really know what number to put in there. If you don't know how to change the sides on a circle, well, then you learn to do it here. If you do know how to change the sides of a circle, well, then I'm going to teach you the right amount of sides to put on a circle. Let me show you really quickly. When you start off a drawing in SketchUp, you usually start off with 24 sides. And you can see that down in the corner down here when you're selecting the circle tool. If you draw a circle then, you will see that you can actually see all the edges on the circle. And well, to give you a visual of what this actually is, because SketchUp is not based on vectors or NURBS. So what you're getting is actually 24 triangles like this put together to resemble a circle. It's not really a circle. So if you want this to be smoother, you need to ex uh, exceed the amount of sides. And if you're going to make small details somewhere that are not really that visible, you need to reduce the amount of sides to actually keep the polygon count way down. So when you're selecting the circle tool, the first thing you do is just type in the amount of sides. If you started drawing already, you have to go back to the black arrow and then into circle to reset the tool. Because the first thing you do is actually put in the amount of sides. And if I actually put in eight, for example, and press enter, you can actually see my icon changing to that amount of sides. If I go to six, it will have six sides, so it becomes this hexagon. Well, 24 is the basic number, which works fine for your medium-sized circles. But it doesn't work fine if you're trying to make like a big platform or if you need to make something that's to be 3D printed and it needs to be smooth. Well, what are the right amount of sides? Well, a lot of my students, they just pick a random number, like going up to scale. I've seen people put in like 200, 300 uh, sides on this thing. And that will give you a lot of polygons, which will make it really hard to read or for the computer to process. But there is actually a right amount of sides. Just to get really nerdy about it, what you need is the amount of sides that are easily divided by two, three, four, six, and eight, because those sides will also result in the right amount of angles where you have 180, 120, uh, 90 degrees, 60 degrees, and so forth. So these numbers are actually the right amount of sides because they can all be divided by two, three, four, six, eight, and 120 will also be divided by 5, which is the prime number. But 120 is probably the perfect number for a perfect circle. And you can also go up to 144, and after that you can just add 24 for each uh, equivalent number where you want more sides. But 144 is more than enough, really, if you want a really big one. But 120, I feel, work a lot of the times. So. Just remember, you don't need to use 120 sides if you're just making small details. This is for when you're making the big platforms or if you're making 3D printed things. And then if I go to 120, press enter and then smooth this out. And I also remember, snap to one of the axis points here. Then you get this really nice shape, which has a lot of sides. And if I go to uh, high geometry here, you really won't be able to tell where the sides are starting. But you still have your very handy anchor points here, which should now divide quite nicely up to your different angles. They will also always hit the hidden lines that are here in the ends here. So you'll get this clean uh, subject that you can divide into the common angles. Of course, that might not be relevant for your model, but most of the times it is. So as I said, you can put any number of sides you want on a circle, but really, these numbers are the only numbers that you really need to consider. If you're trying to build like a really big platform, use the higher number. If you're going to make smaller details, use the lower number, and you will get a perfect amount of sides, in my opinion. I hope this has been useful for you. Remember to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, leave any comments or questions downstairs, and I guess I'll talk to you next time.